One of the most central questions of modern space exploration is, are we alone? In view of the gigantic expanse of the universe and the possible constellations resulting from it, not a few experts consider it practically impossible that terrestrial species represent the only life forms in space. Assuming that the countless celestial bodies in space also serve as galactic homes for other living beings, another, no less exciting question arises. How can we succeed in locating our extraterrestrial contemporaries or even make contact with them? While the scientific community has not yet been able to reach this cosmic milestone, an ancient mathematical equation now suggests that we are on the verge of finding extraterrestrial life. What it is in detail and which efforts researchers have already undertaken, we reveal to you in the following video. Don't want to miss a single one of our videos about space ever again? Then remember to subscribe to Simply space and click on the bell to stay up to date in the future. By giving us a thumbs up, you're showing us that we can keep you engaged with the content of our posts. The Drake Equation the search for the existence of extraterrestrial life forms has a long history already. In view of the numerous, so far however futile attempts of experts to get this trailblazing enterprise off the ground, the thought occurs to us that it will probably be decades or even centuries before we're able to prove signs of life on a strange planet. If one follows the remarks of some scientists, this sensational event will occur, however, much earlier than we would have expected. We might actually succeed in proving the existence of extraterrestrial life forms in just a few years. What sounds at first only like an exciting speculation possesses in truth, however, a scientifically founded mathematical background. That hypothesis to which some researchers refer during the search for extraterrestrials is called the Drake Equation. The pioneering formula was presented for the first time in November 1961 at a conference in the U.S. American city, Green Bank. Frank Drake, the astrophysicist who developed the equation, devoted himself to the question of how many advanced civilizations could develop within one year in our home galaxy. In doing so, the expert first considered the total number of stars within the Milky Way. Conservative estimates assume that there are approximately 100 billion glistening bright celestial bodies in our barred spiral galaxy. Of the corresponding 100 billion stars, in turn, 20 to 50 percent host independent planetary systems. This assumption, which Drake made in the early 60s, becomes ever more probable in light of numerous discoveries with modern research equipment. However, not all of these planets would be located in the habitable zones of their ancestral systems, something necessary for water to be present there in a permanently liquid form. Therefore, the Drake equation is based on the theoretical assumption that each system harbors one to five planets where the right conditions for the development of life prevail waiting for signs of life. However, we would only become aware of the existence of these hypothetical extraterrestrial life forms on Earth if the corresponding civilizations were able to acknowledge them. In other words, they would have to emit signals such as radio waves or other forms of electromagnetic radiation that we could detect with our earthly measuring instruments. Within his equation, Frank Drake assumes that up to 20% of extraterrestrial civilizations are capable in principle of overcoming this galactic hurdle. Finally, the Drake equation also takes into account the factor of how long the corresponding life forms would have to exist in order to one day transmit one of the measurable signals in the direction of our blue home planet. Let us compare the development on our home planet. Our sun is about 4.5 billion years old and according to current estimates, will reach an age of 10 to 13 billion years before its fuel runs out. Life on Earth developed about 3.5 billion years ago with mankind finally succeeding in developing radio-capable devices just under a century ago. Therefore, the longer mankind manages to survive, the more time we have to make our existence known in the galaxy. In the reverse conclusion, this applies to the potential inhabitants of other planets in the Milky Way. Considering these factors and the progress of our terrestrial technology, the most different results arise. How many extraterrestrial civilizations could be able to make themselves known with the help of provable signals and when? 
with a rather conservative approach, in the context of which the variables are set quite low, about 1,000 detectable extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way are thought to exist at any given time. More optimistic estimates result in millions and millions of extraterrestrial communities. The more of these advanced life forms that exist, the more likely it is that we will discover them in the near future. Let's assume that there are 10,000 civilizations within our home galaxy. If this is the case, researchers assume that we will succeed in proving their existence by the year 2040. If the number of extraterrestrial communities amounts to 1 million, it will probably only take until the year 2028 before we can register this galactic milestone. Although the Drake equation has many supporters within the technical world, it should be regarded, however, not as a formula set in stone. Even some of its supporters say that the equation is merely a practical way to mathematically substantiate our earthly ignorance. The Future of the Search for Life Where the mathematical theory ends, the practical research begins. At present, however, the search for extraterrestrial signals is still in its infancy. Astronomers have so far only succeeded in examining a few thousand star systems for extraterrestrial recognition signs. As a reminder, conservative estimates suggest that there are up to 100 billion stars in the Milky Way. More aggressive assumptions put the corresponding figure as high as 400 billion. However, the trend is already emerging that the investigation of the star systems will continue to accelerate. Basically, the speed at which experts can evaluate the data provided by radio telescopes doubles every 18 months to two years. Conversely, this means that the pace of research will increase tenfold approximately every six years. If this development does not come to a halt, scientists will have studied a million star systems by 2034. And with every star system examined, the chances of one day finding a galactic sensation increase. While the exploration of the Milky Way star systems is still rather passive, some experts have already taken a more active approach. The slogan, if signals don't reach us, we'll do our part to make our presence known, tells us that some amazing contact attempts have been undertaken. Messages to Extraterrestrials Before the two space probes Pioneer 10 and 11 left our blue home planet in the early 1970s, the responsible persons did not miss the opportunity to equip the unmanned flying bodies with golden plates. On the so-called Pioneer plaques are different illustrations meant to notify possible extraterrestrial viewers of our existence. Beside the representation of a man and a woman and the solar system, there is a detailed drawing of a hydrogen atom, the relative position of the sun, and the silhouettes of the space probes themselves immortalized on the plates. In 1974, two years after the Pioneer probes had set off into the expanses of space, Mankind finally transmitted the so-called Arecibo message. The radio wave signal contained binary coded information about the biological makeup of our species, its population, and the origin of the message sent. The decoding of this message, however, is already proving to be an extremely challenging undertaking for most inhabitants of the Earth. The signal, which is composed of 1,679 bits, would first have to be broken down into its prime factors 23 and 73 in order to subsequently arrange the corresponding bits in a special matrix to form a coherent black and white image. The cryptic Arecibo message was followed in 1977 by the Voyager Golden Records. These are two golden data disks with which the space probes Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were equipped. On the respective data carriers is visual and audio information, which likewise supply details about life on our blue homeland planet. With a predicted lifespan of up to 500 million years, the Voyager Golden Records could still bear witness to our former existence long after the era of mankind has passed. While the messages to the extraterrestrials were transmitted with purely peaceful intent, some experts fear that the transmitted data could become a devastating boomerang for our species. This would be the case if the information came into the possession of potentially aggressive life forms technically superior to mankind. Thus, it could be that the extraterrestrial observers do not regard our home planet as a wonder of galactic diversity, but simply as a possible source of resources to be plundered. Since we provided the aliens in advance with detailed information about human biology and the location of Earth, it would be easy for them to expose possible weak points 
and prepare for a major galactic invasion. Some well-known researchers, among them the one and only Stephen Hawking, therefore advised mankind urgently against future contact attempts. Rather, the inhabitants of Earth should make every effort to keep their own existence as secret as possible. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts about the Drake Equation? Do you think it's advisable to actively contact extraterrestrial life forms? We're looking forward to your comments. Are you interested in more exciting videos on the topic of outer space? Then click on one of the thumbnails in the credits to get to other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.